guys welcome back to my channel my name is miracle i'm a nigerian travel vlogger who love exploring beautiful places in africa so in today's video i will take you around the most um beautiful place in lagos if you don't know lagos is the mega city of nigeria and also in africa is one of the biggest city in africa Lagos used to be the capital state of Nigeria before it was moved to Abuja. During the time the colonizers came to Nigeria, they first settled down in Lagos before capturing other parts of Nigeria. And since then, Lagos has been the capital state of Nigeria till 90s when it was moved to Abuja. Lagos is divided into two the mainland and the island so the island is basically an island lagos is a land surrounded with a lot of ocean the colonizers that colonized nigeria settled in lagos island and up to today it is believed that lagos island is the main lagos why the mainland is neighboring villages who later become part of lagos lagos island is often referred to as lagos let me say if someone who live in mainland wants to go to lagos island they can simply tell you that they are going to lagos and once they say this you know that they are going to lagos island remember i told you that this is the place the white men settled down when they came to nigeria so because of that a lot of important offices of nigeria used to be here even up to today they are still here during the time lagos used to be the capital state of nigeria this is the place you find the president's house the president's office and a lot of important offices you can find them here even up to today this is the place you you find the governor office the governor house and every important um office of lagos is found here you can also find a lot of embassies here so i'm taking you around a place called victoria island so before i get into where i'm taking you to i want you to know that uh, um, lagos island is divided into four there's victoria island there's um ikoi there's lake phase one and there's lake phase two so the place i'm taking you around today is called victoria island victoria island is the industrial part of lagos island this is the place you find a lot of um government offices this is also the place you find a lot of embassies this is also the place you can find a lot of top and um, hotels do you know the popular eco hotel uh, yes you can find it here like you will see it we are going there so you find a lot of hotels a lot of clubs and a lot of things like a lot of um activities are going on here aside that you can also find residents there are a lot of residential area here but it's not as much as it is in Lekki. Lekki and ikoyi are mostly residential area though you can still find top offices in ikoyi but there are more of residential areas than um, um offices but here is mainly the commercial or the industrial part of lagos island so before now there is this big massive beach that used to be around this place we are driving towards now it is it is called babish babish used to be most popular beach in nigeria like if you come to lagos and you have not been to babish it to be like hmm, you never enter lagos so it used to be a place where a lot of people wanted to go to want to visit however during early 2010s um, the and the lagos state government started filling up the ocean and uh, basically chasing the ocean away because according to them they say they want to build a mega city on on the land they are filling up so if you know what during the time tunubu was contesting for election that he was bragging that he filled up the ocean yes now the ocean way if you be that now that babish now if you so before filling before they filled that ocean up that ocean used to be like um during rainy season i don't know if it is the season but during the time that it, like the ocean will fill up it will always like enter people houses and offices i used to have cousins that have uh, that live around this area and they will always tell us the story like that and what they village say 
during the time we be say say sometimes um bitch go to enter their houses and me i don't know what in be what in they talk but i know they understand what they talk at that time but you know understand that time we shouldn't go come back from lagos they, they tell you gist so they say that at that time um bitch they always they like babish then they call them babish they always they enter their house they go come carry their things go upstairs and if the thing don't come down they go come come down so and um, at a point they started filling up the ocean i think that incident is now like longer 18 now so now we are driving towards a um, eco hotel and like on this as is there are a lot of hotels and um um we are he also heading to a place where, where you can find a lot of uh, embassies so guys if you're enjoying this video so far please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed and also turn on the notification bell to be notified each time i drop a video guys please share my video with your friends and family if you're not a nigerian watching this i want to know your impression about this place how do you see this place and um what's your thought on this place let's continue so this place hold a lot of um skyscrapers like if you see like the like you can see it right even at uh, like uh where they call semes or marina you see massive skyscraper like this place is the place you find a lot of skyscrapers in lagos guys i'm enjoying this view and i hope you are also enjoying the view this is a co hotel the place you're seeing now is a co hotel so a co hotel i don't know if it is a chain owned by nigerians and lebanese or nigerians and chinese but like a co hotel is one of the biggest hotel in nigeria it is also the most popular hotel in nigeria every activity is held in nigeria like every important activity is held in nigeria is held in eco hotel like um, award giving and other top ceremonies is often held in eco hotel so this victoria island also there are a lot of movies being like they have been a lot of movies they shot in this place even as i was filming a lot of people would be like if they film if they shoot video if they shoot movie i'd be like what if you movie which kind of movie be that one <laughs> movie for youtube <laughs> okay guys um so <laughs> I don't know say i don't know sometimes that they like to act naughty a villagey <laughs> Over the years, Lagos have experienced massive development more than other parts of Nigeria, mainly because of the law made by um, Lagos State uh, government before, not now, again, because they are trying to revise the law. So before now, the Lagos State government made a law that protects the interests of investors and people who buy land and properties here in Lagos. So with that, a lot of people come to Lagos, invest in Lagos, live in Lagos and do a lot of activities in Lagos. And it used to be very safer to own a land in Lagos until uh, after this year's election when the um, Lagos state government is tr basically trying to um, revise everything that made Lagos a mega city or made it easy for foreigners to come and invest in Lagos. But I don't want to comment much on that because I don't know much about that and I don't want to give you wrong information. So if you want to know about that, I think you can go so search it out. But guys, there's a lot of um, um, investment going on in Lagos. So Lagos is basically built by collective um, um, effort of uh, both uh, all nigerians and also uh, foreigners who come to nigeria lagos has the highest foreign investors in the whole of nigeria it is uh, maybe it used to be easier for them to settle down in lagos but i think it is the law uh, guiding lagos the them law guiding lagos there are a lot of foreign investors in lagos especially in the island there are a lot of foreign investors here you can find a lot of chinese company a lot of lebanese company a lot of uh, companies from people who are not nigerians also um, a lot of south african companies are also found here houses here are mad expensive it is very expensive to get an accommodation here very very expensive to get a land here before you can be able to buy land here that means you are a very rich person like very very rich person due to how diverse or how rich people who live here are 
it is very very easy to meet an opportunity business opportunity or other opportunity that can elevate you in life this is the reason why a lot of people will prefer to take the risk of paying higher money in order to live in ireland instead of um, paying lesser money and live in mainland and if you're a girl that is looking out to um find a nigerian man <laughs> guys a nigerian boy will get money i think this is the place you find them there are a lot of big guys here like a lot of big guys here also girls that live here are not just smiling they are also super rich also yeah well, almost all nigerian influencers live in ireland all nigerians um um movie actors and actresses who live in lagos mostly live in the island so this place is not the place for the poor it's the place for the rich okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'll let you to watch the video now i think i have explained everything that i need to explain if there's another thing that i need to explain i may just come back to explain it to you guys but guys i hope you're enjoying this video so far and i hope um you'll find value in this video if you do please t um give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel guys forgive the shaking <laughs> as i'm making this voice over i'm seeing a lot of shaking and i think um the the is from the cab man i think in you know the drive street they like to shake and if i start to decut it i don't think you will understand the video so i feel like leaving it like this will make you kind of understand the direction so that if you're finding your way or you find your way in this place you can just use my video as direction to get to wherever you're going hey jesus <laughs> okay guys <laughs> enjoy <laughs> Remember when you said It doesn't get better than this Only a fool to let you go It got into my head Am I about to lose myself? When will all of this fade away? Cause I see colors for the first time I'm starting to realize nothing's ever black and I'm caught up in the first night Now it doesn't feel right I'll just have to say goodbye So I just had to write this song I don't want to see you cry again And no matter how the story ends I'll always be there for you Cause I see colors for the first time I'm starting to realize nothing's ever black and white And I'm caught up in the first night Now it doesn't feel right I'll just have to say goodbye
When I was young and so naive Falling into love like such a fool Yeah, I was dumb, but she was me It broke my trust, and honestly I never want to feel that hurt again I'm so dumb, breaking down my walls for someone To break me till I fall apart
So guys, um, we we'll have finished touring the Victoria Island. At this point, we are heading to a place called Marina. So Marina is also part of Victoria Island. However, Marina is at the uh, beginning. Like once you get to across the bridge to get go to Victoria Island, the first place you see is Marina, and that Marina is the place you find the governor house. So um, I was uh, filming when we are heading to the governor house, and um, the day I filmed this place, the governor was around, and um, Tinubu was also around, and uh, there was a lot of. Uh, police officials everywhere so i couldn't film like at the point the um driver asked me to bring down my phone so that they will not scatter my phone or they will not misunderstand me so this place is the place you find the governor house and then uh, yeah towards the side you find the governor house and then uh, also the governor office is also in marina so marina used to be the place the commercial hub of lagos in this marina you find a lot of skyscrapers like the ones you find inside vi like more than one the ones you find here are the ones built mainly by the colonizers who colonized nigeria there are a lot of skyscrapers here and also a lot of headquarters of many banks are here in marina when people Tell you that they work in island most of them mostly work in this uh, marina because there are a lot of offices here a lot of headquarters of important uh, companies are in this marina okay guys and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video i uh, i think i have given you a lot of information like all the information i can find about uh, about this place and then um, i hope you enjoyed this video so this place is also part of marina but it is called cms so here you find a lot of offices so a lot of people who come to work and uh, to work in ireland or around these houses have cars so the cars you're looking at are not actually for sales the cars you're looking at are people individuals nigerians who work around this place on these cars one thing about nigeria is that they like living extravagant life or let me say a comfortable like let me not say extravagant life let me just say a comfortable life a nigerian who has a uh, who earn a certain uh, amount of money a month would love to ha live in a very comfortable home and also have cars and have everything that make life beautiful i think this is the reason why some people may just see nigerians as loud people in their ways of life and also the way we talk however it is not like that it's just like many nigerians love comfort so that is the reason why you see all those cars there because myself me i can't just imagine waiting all those cars they do there that is the reason why anytime you pass here in the morning or in the evening guys the kind of hold up you meet here the kind of hold up you meet here the hold up will be hold up in so guys i want to know your opinion in the comment section if there's anything that i say that is not correct and you are a nigerian or you live in lagos or you have better um, um explanation or understanding of that please leave it in the comment section let the viewers know that uh, uh, what i said is not right also um if you are not a nigerian and you're watching this i want to know your opinion about this what do you think about this how do you see the tour that i just gave you have you been to this place if you're not a nigerian have you been to nigeria before are you planning to come to nigeria tell me everything in the comment section i want to know your opinion in the comment section and i also want you to guess guys who can i guess which country do you think i'm planning to go next or which country do you think i should go next i want to know that in the comment section okay guys um i hope you enjoyed this video i enjoyed making this video but not as much as i enjoyed making my ghana videos maybe because ghana video is just like um outside nigeria and this place are things that i have been seeing so i'm not like wow you don't see me shouting wow 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 but guys nigeria is beautiful nigeria is beautiful don't let anybody deceive you that nigeria is not beautiful apart from nigeria being beautiful nigerians are very beautiful 
warm people and will also welcome strangers like will appreciate strangers so don't let anything deprive you the opportunity of visiting nigeria each time you have the chance to if you have the chance to visit nigeria visit nigeria but the only thing advice i will give to anyone watching this if you're look, coming to nigeria to search for men to hunt for nigerian men i don't think that will be necessary because they go shop you run but if you're coming to nigeria to explore nigeria or um, create business opportunity or meet people in nigeria i think that would be cool you have great opportunity nigerians are always open to anything that will bring them money so guys um see you guys in the next video please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed meanwhile let me show you some places in nigeria that you may love to watch before heading to another country see you guys in my next video bye